I'd like to show you some of the additional functionality of the fly marker. Customers always want to have an easy way to input the information uh, into the fly marker and then do their marking. So I took a look at a couple different uh, things. Let's turn the machine on. And this thing goes through a diagnostic check. Uh, and it'll always load the last program uh, that was run. And in many cases, a customer only needs one program. They're always putting the same type of information uh, in and when they when they mark maybe a customer number, maybe the date, maybe a shift. Uh, it'll be consistent. Not always. You can have as many pr uh, programs as you want, uh, but often it, it repeats. So here we have read keyboard one on top, and then we have read keyboard two. You have three keyboard functions: one, two, and three. What this will do is this will take the information that you input. The first one will put in the customer name. In this particular case, I happen to type in Heck Industries, and that's what I uh, did last time I, I ran it. And read keyboard number two will ask for a part number. The last time I ran it, I put in number 9000. Uh, it doesn't have to be always the same number, obviously. It, it is whatever it is. And of course, the date when I ran it. Um, and it'll, it'll lay it in exactly as you have it preset before the last time you ran it. So if you want to run the program now, uh, you hit the trigger and it's not going to start marking. It's going to go into input uh, the customer name. Now I'm going to do this with a barcode. I'm not going to be touching the screen. So we'll go over here, I'll plug it in. Take it, run it by. And you can see I'm not touching anything. This is going in automatically. And it happens to be Acme Industries. Now it asks for uh, a part number. And again, I'll scan that. Probably hear that little chirp. And now the third thing that I had on there was a message. And this is what I typed in. It could be whatever you want to type in. Type in. And this happens to say, you know, position marker uh, and press the trigger when ready. Um, all the data is in here. At this point, we can remove the barcode scanner if we so desire. And we go over to where we want to do the marking. Now I've got a sheet of aluminum here that we've been marking stuff right and left on. So let's see if we can find a spot here to go to. And we'll get it. And we'll position it where we need to. Okay, I've now positioned the uh, fly marker over a piece of aluminum. This will be a little noisy because this is my kitchen table. Uh, but you can see what's going to happen now. I'm going to hit the trigger once and then release. Uh, the information is already in there that I've scanned. And there you have it. And the marking took place, and with the information that we put in, obviously it's come through rather nicely. I apologize for the noise. This is my kitchen table, and it tends to <laughs> amplify uh, the, uh, the, the noise that's involved. If you notice, when we ran this entire system here, all the steps we went through, um, we didn't touch any of these keys. We touched the power key to turn it on, and then everything else is off the trigger, and off the barcode scanner. So this is just one scenario. There's a lot of different ways to run this machine and to input information, uh, but I thought you might have an interest in this. So if you want any additional information, let me know. Uh, we do sell these. You can get your own if you want to. But when we sell this, uh, we also give you the release code for the Comfort uh, software package. It's already installed in your machine. Uh, all the additional software is, we send you a release code and it'll uh, allow you access to it. And above and beyond the barcode scanning and the read keyboard, read keyboard message, you have a lot of other functionality in there too, logos and other things too. So if you want full information, just let us know. Yeah, I appreciate you taking the time for watching. Thank you.